Hey guys, Jamstrap here and welcome back to another video. In this one is going to be the start of my new series of kit bashing Primaris Space Wolves. Just to show you guys how to go about it. Well, I'm trying to figure it out as I go as well. Okay, so everything you need is right here. There we go. That's the stuff I'm going to be working with. I will give you guys a couple options as well. I've got a few different things just in case you don't have the things I have. So yeah, let's get started. Okay, let's start with the Forge World stuff, because not everybody's going to have this, not everybody wants this. So I bought these when I was at Warhammer World. You get two different options for these special repulsor doors. So they just got, one's just the wolf head, one's with the axes. Kind of didn't know which one I wanted to go for, but I went for these. So I thought, you know, adds that extra bit of flavor. But if you don't want to buy them, all you need is, like I so said, I've got the door here. You get the repulsor door. And you get a transfer sheet. And I would go for, recommend one of these big bad boys over here. And that would fit on nicely over there. If you guys want a video of me doing that to show you, just comment below and I'll do that. So that's one option for you guys if you want to do something for the door. But yeah, let's get into it. Next option is these dangly bits here. These are from the Storm Wolf slash Storm Fan Kit. That's an absolutely amazing kit if you want to be kit bashing primary stuff because it comes with so many extra bits like these two and this absolutely fantastic piece of here. But yeah, these ones I'll be putting on the sides of the thing. As you can see, it looks like the wind's blowing in a certain direction for both of them. So you've got to put them on the right sides. But yeah, Storm Wolf kit, perfect. And it's a nice kit on its own as well. This is also from the Storm Wolf kit, actually. You get quite a few of these. So I'm going to be using that as well. You get about three or four of them. Like I say, great kit. This one, like I've already shown, not sure I'm going to use that because... I've got a Redemptor video I'm going to be doing as well, and obviously the Storm Wolf also needs some cool stuff, so I'm not sure I'll be using that. Next one, oh, if my camera will zoom in, sorry guys. I've got this head. This is from Haldor Ice Belt, the Primaris Lieutenant slash Battle Leader guy. I've used this head because the little pelt thing on top is blowing in the wind, which makes sense for the guy that sits on top of the turret. And he's also got those three little rivets, if I can zoom in. No, it's not going to work today, is it? Sorry, guys. It's a bit small. There we go. Those three little rivets give that extra bit of, like, reinforced feeling. You know, if it's on top of a tank, he's probably going to get shot at a lot. So, yeah, I chose that one mainly for the wind blowing in his hair. Next, you're going to need, obviously, Space Wolf shoulder pad. That's simple enough, because there's a guy on top. If you have the guy built on top, you can have the option without him there, but... I think it add, adds that extra, extra bit of flavor. Extra, extra? Yeah. Next are these shields. Storm shields. There we go. See, they still got the hands in there. These are from the Wolfen kit. You get quite a lot of them. Like I said, I've got one here where I have... So I still got blue tag there because I was testing it. I've snipped the hand out, flattened it out a bit so you can like put it onto the side of the panels or something like that. Not sure if I'll be using this one. And I've got this one as well where I can show you guys, you know, snipping that out and seeing how that goes on there. Anyway, that's everything I'll be working with today. Obviously, you got to work with what you got. I know getting bits is hard if you want to go purely Primaris, no old Marines. So you want to maybe hit eBay or pick up the kits that aren't old Marines. Like I say, the Storm Wolf, the Dreadnoughts, or the Wolf and all that kind of stuff. So you're not going old marine but you're still getting the bits and i just realized i completely forgot these this is from the old dreadnought kit well old it's still well uh, you know what i'm saying it's not the redemptor one this is the little frost claws from it now this fits quite perfectly in a certain spot on here not sure if it's too much don't know if i'm going a bit over the top but you know if you're making a video about kit bashing space wolves you might as well go out so i've got two of them as well Anyway, guys, let's get straight into it. Alrighty then, okay. Like I said before, I don't know if I'm going a bit over the top on the front of this, but these little claws, if I grab this, see it's kind of got like the ridge like that. Weirdly, if it's perfectly there. See, it hooks in perfectly, everything's flush. So I was 
what I'm planning is popping them two bad boys there. It really breaks the silhouette up and it definitely makes it stand out. You do not think that is a ultramarine or anything like that repulsor tank. And you do get the little Aquila to stick with those two little holes there. But I'm thinking, you know what? Let's just go. Balls to the wall. Let's wolf it out. And uh, yeah, let's see if that's focusing in. But that's kind of the plan. Like I say, you guys might not want to do that. And I completely understand. So what I would do, if you guys don't want to do that, you do get these triangly bits, which I'll find for you guys quickly. Okay, so like I was saying before, if that's a bit over the top for you guys, I think the Redemptor Kit and the Storm Wolf Kit, again, comes with these little, sorry, I said triangle before, diamond-shaped little logos. Now, you can you get quite a lot of them. You can put one there, one there, you know, stick that in the middle, and, you know, if that's obviously a bit more straightened, but you kind of get that idea. If that's a bit more reserved, or even this thing, I'm thinking of sticking anywhere, to be honest, it looks badass, but... Yeah, so let's get gluing the stuff that I actually want to put on mine. One of the things I did forget to mention earlier is the tools you'll need. So obviously you're going to need some plastic glue, which I'm going to be using now. One of these bad boys, which you should only use if, uh, well, if you're allowed to or you know how to. You don't want to be slicing yourself up. And super glue for the resin doors, because plastic glue doesn't work for that. And obviously you want some snippers, which are over... Yeah, some of these. These are freaking ancient ones that I've had. They don't even have a spring anymore, but yeah. Okay, let's get started again. All right, I'm going to try get this done correctly while keeping in the screen, guys. Sorry, this is my first time doing anything like this. But yeah, so get a bit of glue on this edge here. Bit up there, and this is the part that actually connects to the top, so get there. And with me trying to get this right first time so you guys can see sorry stick that there okay so you guys kind of know what i'm going for because i showed you before before gluing it so even if i'm not quite showing it right sorry we get this nice and even you want to get it straight you know life's all about symmetry after all oh does that look about right yeah, that's not too shabby, considering I'm looking through my camera to do it. Yeah, that should stick right there. Okay, and the exact same thing for the next one. Let's do that. This is so hard to do while doing on the camera. I don't know how the YouTubers do this. So it's my first shot at this, so... Yeah, I think that doesn't look too bad. Okie dokie. And then... Same thing for this. But this does have two little things there, so I'm going to check quickly if those actually need snipping or not. don't know if it'll be a bit more flush. Yeah, I think it might be. So what I'm going to do is, I'm going to use my trusty little scalpel of you, and I'm going to slice them off. So, yeah. Okay. Yeah, that looks much better. So I'm going to put some glue on that. Get that on there. Yeah, that's looking nice and flush. Just going to move it into place. There. So, sorry about if that was a bit rough. Like I said, first I'm doing it on camera. That's the front end of your repulsor. As you can see, that already looks a million times better. Well, if you're a wolf fan. So there. Yeah. All right, let's go straight to the sides now. Let's do it. All right, so all you're going to need for the sides is a door. And obviously with these, you do need to wash them first if you do have them. Because this was super oily with a little release agent, whatever they use for that. So I've washed that. Got to get my super glue for that. And this one, if you can see, everything is angling at that direction. So if you think a tank is driving forward, the wind's going to be blowing that that way. So you want to, you've got to make sure which direction your model's moving. So 
let's get that on all right so i'm going to start off with putting the glue in here and i did find with the doors they kept kind of popping out so i had to like not file it down but kind of make sure it was a bit thinner but anyway let's try get this glue in here on screen which is super freaking difficult guys Okay, super glue is a little bit thick, but let's see if it works. Okay, I definitely got it on a bit too thick in some parts. Yeah, so if yours is popping out, just make sure you give it a bit of a, a press. Make sure it stays in there. Like I said, I've got a bit of glue on there. Which I that glue if it's a bit cold it gets really thick and I, I should have warmed it up a bit but yeah that's that done this one should be far easier hopefully and back to the trusty plastic glue man I love working with plastic glue all we're gonna need is a drop on there drop on there just on those two bits there and then you can pour a bit of glue on the other bits to reinforce it once it's on so i'm going to try and angle both bits with the top bar there so i might might be a bit difficult on screen i apologize but get the first one there yeah first one where you want it and then you can angle the other one down okay there we go like I say, what you can do is you drip a little bit of glue to reinforce that if you want to. I'll do that later. I won't do it on screen now. It's a bit boring. I'm going to be doing the exact same thing for the other side now. I won't show you guys because you've seen others show you when it's done. Okay, and that's that side done. So that's all nicely in there. That's so you see, as you can see, the wind's going to be blowing that way. And that's what it, it looks like so far. Got the front done there and the sides once again wind direction that's always an important thing i don't think people take into account when kid bashing and stuff they never go for the movement of the actual miniature but yeah so let's go straight to the top so i already got this guy's shoulder on there although i did see in the storm fang the guy that flies it he has a wolfy version of that which i kind of wish i knew about before but yeah Let's pop this guy's head on. So let's slap a bit of glue into his noggin there. All right. And I'm just gonna get this guy looking straight forward. Like I said, this should be an easy part without touching all the wet stuff. And get him at the right angle that we want. And there we go. Is that on the screen? I think that doesn't look too shabby, guys. Yeah, see, it looks like he's looking down the barrel. Nice. And then the shoulder pad. So just get the shoulder pad. Stick a bit of glue in there. If I can get this on screen. Oh, too much. That glue always comes out really quick. When it's a fresh tub, anyway. And we'll... Oh, sorry, I'm moving around too much here. Stick that on there. There we go that's the guy blazing away with his little gatling gun there and that's that and i think last but certainly not least we're going to be moving on to the the back doors all right let's get on that okay so for the back we've got quite a few options we can work with here if you want to go minimalist you could put one of those little diamond shaped things there and leave it at that then you've got these shields from the wolf and like I spoke said about before. Yeah, you've got one I've snipped out of you earlier, but I don't think I want to use this one anymore. Like I say, you can stick that right there. It looks all right, not bad. But if you did buy the storm fangy kit, this thing fits absolutely perfect. I'm not going to use it because I want to keep it for other stuff, unfortunately. But I mean, just look at that. It just, oh, if I can get it in there perfect so if you want to do that 
go ahead because that looks beautiful absolutely perfection right there but what i'm going to do is because this shield from this wolfen kit matches sorry i just bought my camera the one i've got here at the front if you guys can see that see they got a kind of similar engravings and stuff so i thought it kind of ties it together i'm going to do that so what we're going to need to do is snip this hand off here and we might need to bend some of it to make sure it fits flush but i'm not going to show you guys the whole thing so i don't want to be here all day well you guys don't want to be here all day but all you've got to really do is you know, carve the hand out it's pretty simple like i say just be careful you don't even need to be neat because no one's ever going to see this but yeah i'm going to snip this out and then i'm going to come back so this thing i've got it all snipped out there and the pelt bit there was kind of bent down once so i bent that up as you can see the plastic's a bit white now bent it up so it fits nice and flush there oh sorry my camera guys like that only problem is this little rivet here i want to push it a bit further up and that's kind of in my way so all we've got to do is get this little knife and just pop him off there we go Oh, this is super hard doing this on camera. Probably did a bit too much damage there. And then that should fit nicely right there. Man, I gotta get better with this style of video. Anyway, yeah, so you guys kind of see what I'm going for. Yeah, I'm gonna glue this on there. And then I'll get back to you guys on last little bit of extras i want to do so yeah that's nice and flush now i think that looks pretty good but there's definitely something missing like i said it's got quite a bit of detail and dangly bits and everything going on there quite a lot on the front and in the back you've all you've got is that little circle so what i'm f feeling is if you wanted you can get some like space wolf weapons maybe hang them down the side or something like that what I'm going to do is I'm going to try with these tweezers of you, if I can get it. What I'm going to do is get some of these, and I mean you get these in all Space Wolves kits, Primaris upgrades, whatever. I'm going to glue that there, one on each side, and I think that might pull it all together. So I'm going to stick them on and show you guys what it looks like. And that's what it looks like. Once again, paying attention to the movement, because obviously, like, that pelt's going that way, so I try to get the little bits going that way as well. Uh, didn't turn out as nice as I would have liked. It's definitely nothing compared to this thing. But like I said, I wanna, I've only got one of these. Save it for something else. This has already got so much going on. But that's pretty much it for this one. For this video, I'll give you guys a showcase now, like a proper twirl around of it and everything but i hope you guys enjoyed this video i hope it was informative and helped you guys out because you know primaris marines do suffer from the vanilla thing but yeah there's so many things you could do with space balls and if you guys are watching this before or after christmas not sure when i'm releasing it i hope you enjoy yourself or you're gonna be enjoying yourself merry christmas have a good new year guys and remember I'll release hobby content like this every week so check out and subscribe to my channel, comment below and I will be having more Space Wolf Kit Bash videos coming out soon as well. See you in the next one guys, bye bye.